Good afternoon. I'm Charles Barnett, and I have a insight for you today. I think that's going to help you out. You're going to be really excited about this. I believe um, it's going to help you receive your miracle, um, your healing, whatever you need from God. It's a, a good uh, insight about faith, and I, I want to read some scriptures that, uh, and then expound on it a little bit, and then. Um, Pray for you and uh, watch God do miraculous things in your life. Um, I'm going to go to Matthew chapter 8, verses 5 through 10. And we're going to talk about only speak a word. I think that's what we need to do. Instead of pleading and begging before God, we need to just ask Jesus to only speak a word. Or whomever his servant is that's praying for you, if they only would speak a word. Matthew 8, chapter 5, verse 10. Now when Jesus had entered Capernaum, a centurion came to him, pleading with him, saying, Now a centurion, he's, uh, he's in control of 100 soldiers in the Roman army. So he's not a Jew, he's not an Israelite. Um, this, is, this gentleman is a pagan Roman. Now when Jesus had entered Capernaum, a centurion came to him, pleading with him, saying, Lord, my servant is, servant is lying at home paralyzed, dreadfully tormented. And Jesus said to him, I will come and heal him. The centurion answered and said, Lord. Notice the second time he called Jesus Lord. I am not worthy that you should come under my roof, but only speak a word and my servant will be healed. For I also am a man under authority, having soldiers under me. And I say to this one, go, and he goes. And to another, come, and he comes. And to my servant, do this, and he does it. When Jesus heard it, he marveled and said to those who followed, Assuredly, I say to you, I have not found such great faith, not even in Israel. Now, some, something very important that we must learn here is that in order for us to get a miracle, we've got to have two things. We've got to have a problem to need a miracle that we cannot fix within our own strength. And then we need the only one who can perform the miracle. And that's Jesus Christ, our mighty God and Savior. He is Lord of all. Now the centurion, he gets a revelation and understand. You're talking about a man who is not... A Jew. He does not. He did not grow up. Uh, well, we don't know exactly how he grew up, but he was under the tutelage of Rome. Rome had many gods. They were. Uh, they had a lot of idolatry. Um, of course, we know that Judaism, the Jews, the Israelites, they only had one god, and it was Jehovah Yahweh. Um, he was uh, the. It was monotheism. The hero Israel, the Lord our God, is one Lord. And so, but this gentleman here, he's watching Jesus perform signs, wonders, and miracles, preaching the, the, the gospel, preaching the kingdom of God. And, and he gets a revelation and understanding because he calls him, he says, Lord, if you're willing, my servant is paralyzed and tormented. Can you heal him? Please heal him. And uh, he calls him Lord. And that word Lord means the supreme in power to the ultimate destination of power and authority, and that is God. So he knew that this was the supreme in power. This was the Messiah that these Jews had been talking about for years, and here he is, and I know it's him. This is the Lord. This is the supreme in power. This is God walking in humanity, and the centurion got the revelation. So he knew that, this is it. This is him. What do I got to lose? I believe it. I believe him. And so he walks up to him and says, Lord, my servant needs to be healed. So Jesus is enamored by his faith. He's like, wow, this, this, I'm not even called to the, uh, but to the lost sheep of Israel. I'm not really trying to reach Gentiles yet. I'm trying to reach Israel, having a hard time doing it too. But here's this centurion, this Roman, and he shows great faith. He said, he calls me Lord. He knows who I am. He's saying you, God in the flesh, God.
God merged into humanity, the ultimate supreme in power and authority. Please heal my servant. So Jesus said, man, I'm, I, I will come. I'm going to go and heal him. I don't care how far I have to go. Your faith has got my attention. He goes, you understand something. You moved my heart. You touched my, 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 my emotion, the, the compassion of God. But here's how deep and how powerful the faith of the centurion was. He said, Lord, I'm not worthy for you to come to my house. What was he saying? He goes, I'm not worthy. He goes, I'm not even an Israelite. He knew his position. He knew that we, we have your people, Lord, under suppression and slavery. It's not even right what we're doing to you and your people. So I'm not worthy. The Roman centurion knew. He placed himself in a position of humility that we're not worthy. Standing in your presence, we're not even worthy. I'm not even worthy for you to come to my house. I'm just begging for your mercy because I believe you. I believe in who you are. And Jesus healed his servant on that spot. Later on in the story, it says that he got home and uh, Jesus said, Go, your servant is made well. This very hour he went home and asked them when was the servant healed. And they said at this certain hour, and it was the very uh, hour that Jesus had spoke the word, the very minute and seconds that he had spoken the word, that his servant was healed. But here's, here's something if we can get and understand here. The pagan centurion was asking Jesus to speak a word. Now, he said, I understand authority because I'm under someone else's authority. There's somebody above me that gives me my orders. And there's people under me and I give them the orders and it trickles down. And he says, I say to this one, go and he goes. I say to this one to come and he comes. I, I dish out the orders and they do it. My superior dishes out the orders to me and I do it. I understand authority. And he goes, and I know that you're the supreme in authority. He goes, all you have to do is speak the word. You don't even have to come to my house. Just speak the word and it's done. So here's what he was saying. The pagan centurion was asking Jesus to speak a word. Now the word right there in Greek is logos. And we know that the written word, the Bible, is logos. God's mind and heart, uh, his, his thought expressed to us and was written for us so that we can read the, the mind of God. But here in the context of the scripture of what's going on here, this is what he, the centurion was talking about Jesus in his supreme authority and his power uh, uh, to heal and to deliver and do whatever he wished because he was God in the flesh. He was the supreme Lord and, and his authority. Now we're talking, it's the context of authority right here. He's saying, it's, he's talking about in this context that of this scripture, the centurion was asking Jesus to express and exercise his ultimate authority by speaking an authoritative word of healing for his servant. Those with great faith understand great authority in the kingdom of God. So what he was saying was, I know who you are and you are God. You, you're, sitting, you're walking around doing signs, wonders, and miracles. I'm watching people get delivered. I'm watching people with, that are demon possessed get freed. I'm watching people with blind eyes being open. I'm seeing healings and miracles. Uh, and you only can do this because you have the ultimate authority to do so. All you got to do is speak the word. And because you have authority and power because of who you are. And because I believe in your name. He says, my servant will be made whole. Jesus said, wow, I haven't even seen gre this great of faith. And this is what we've got to do. We've got to understand something is that Jesus is the supreme in authority. If you have a problem, you have an issue, you need a miracle, you need healing, you need whatever your miracle is. Your miracle could be uh, 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 you have mental issues or emotional issues. You have a broken heart or, or you're oppressed. Uh, something is wrong. Uh, you, you have spiritual uh, uh, issues that need to be taken care of. Or maybe you need physical healing. There's something wrong with your body and you need to be healed. You need a miracle from God. You need a change in your situation. You need a change in your career. You need a financial miracle. You need a miracle in your, uh, you need a miracle of salvation. Uh, maybe somebody you know needs a miracle of salvation. It's all in the name of Jesus Christ. 
if you would only believe and have faith in his authority and his power and say, Jesus, this is my need and bring all your needs, whatever they may be, bring all your needs because he can fulfill all your needs according to his power and his riches in glory. And then you tell Jesus, Lord, I believe you. I believe in who you are. Just speak a word and it will be done. And then thank him and praise him for it. Now I want to I wanna pray for you. I want to pray for you because I feel in the Holy Ghost that God wants to do mighty signs and wonders and miracles, salvations, healings, deliverances, and miracles that will absolutely blow your mind. There will be small miracles that may seem insignificant to others, but are going to be great for you. There are going to be great miracles that are just going to be so significant that it's going to impact multitudes. And I want to speak this to you. I want to pray for you because many of us have callings and, and, and walk in realms of, and, and spheres of authority that God has granted to us because of the calling, because of the grace and the gifting that God has given to us. And I want to exercise the authority that God has given to me and open up a realm for us by speaking the word and allowing the Lord, Jesus Christ, our mighty God, to unleash the kingdom of God upon our lives. In the name of Jesus, I unleash the kingdom of God in your life. I pray a river of the Holy Ghost you cannot pass over right there where you're at in the name of Jesus. And, and as those who will watch this video, even in the future, that they will open up their minds to Jesus, open up their hearts to his word uh, and believe, just believe, have faith in God and you will receive your miracle. I want to pray for you right now. Hopefully, if you watch this video, pause it right now. And I want you to tell Jesus all of the things that you need to, everything that you could think about. And I want you to give him all of your problems and all your needs. Jesus, I need this miracle. I need this healing. Uh, So-and-so needs this miracle. Uh, So-and-so needs this healing. So-and-so needs this. I want you to bring it all out. And then when you're done, push play on this again. And I want you just to thank Jesus and praise him as I pray over you and receive your miracle in the authority of the name of Jesus Christ, our mighty God. And what he has invested in me through the gifts and callings that he's placed in me. And through the mighty power of his spirit, the Holy Ghost, Christ in us, the hope of glory. I speak deliverance for you in Jesus' name. Receive salvation in its fullness, just like in the book of Acts, starting in Acts chapter 2. Receive ye the Holy Ghost with the evidence of speaking with other tongues. Uh, be baptized in the glorious name of Jesus Christ uh, as you receive the gift of repentance and faith toward God. Receive fullness of salvation in the name of Jesus. Receive your healing no matter what it is. Uh, body be mended, be healed, and be made whole. Receive your miracle of healing. Receive it right now uh, in Jesus' name. And whatever spirit ails your body, leave right now in the name of Jesus. Uh, no matter what you are, uh, if you're cancer, you must leave. Uh, every demonic spirit that's feasting on your body, I bind you in the name of Jesus. I command you to leave. Spirit of infirmity, leave in the name of Jesus. Uh, be healed from hereditary issues uh, that run in your family. Uh, receive your medical, miracle, medical miracle in the name of Jesus. Be healed and made whole from the top of your head to the bottom of your feet and stay. Stay healed in the name of Jesus Christ. Receive your miracle where whatever it is, where if it's emotional healing, uh, be healed. Uh, receive the capacity to forgive your offenders. Uh, forgive them. You don't have to trust them. You don't have to uh, like them, but forgive them and love them for the sake of Christ and be delivered and be freed. Uh, be healed uh, in your, your soul, in your spirit, in your emotions. Be mended. Oppression be broken. Demonic power be broken. Witchcraft be shattered. In the authority of the name of Jesus Christ, I speak it over you. I dispatch angels to go to you wherever you're at right now to minister to you your deliverance and your healing. Uh, receive in the name of Jesus the fullness uh, of your healing and deliverance. I speak a miracle. Receive your miracle in Jesus' name. I speak it, O oh God, uh, that the Holy Ghost come upon you even now, right now, and the angels of God saturate you 
to receive your miracle, an unusual miracle. Whatever it is, uh, God can move mountains and toss them into the sea. He can make uh, uh, trees wither and trees to bud. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, he can do it. Whatever it is, there is nothing too hard for God. All things are possible to them that believe. Whatever your miracle is, uh, receive it right now in the authority and power of the name of Jesus Christ. Shema Korya Mashatama. We speak it, we prophesy over to you in the name of Jesus. Receive your miracle. Receive it right now. Dry bones live in Jesus' name. Rise up and be saved. Uh, receive salvation as it is in the Bible. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. His spirit is being poured out upon your flesh. Let it come inside your spirit. Fill the void in your spirit. Be filled with the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, ah, my hand is getting hot right now. That means the gift of faith is in operation. In the authority of the name of Jesus, I speak it to you right now. Receive your, receive your miracle in Jesus' name right now. Say, Jesus, I receive it right now. I receive it in the authority of the name of Jesus. I prophesy over to you and I speak the word of faith. I decree it. Be completely made whole in the name of Jesus and your situation turn around for the favor and will of God and that your life be changed right now. In Jesus' name, be it done. Thus saith the Lord, you are made whole and your situation is changed. God has stepped in. He has sent his messenger, his angels. In Jesus' name, it is done. It is finished. Thus saith the Lord. Hmm. Woo. Let's pray right now and praise him. We thank you, Jesus. Ah, thank you, Lord. I thank you. I praise you. To you be all the honor, the glory, the worship, and the praise. No flesh glory in your presence. This is all about you. And we thank you. We thank you and we praise you and we worship you. Ah, hallelujah. In Jesus' name. And don't forget to testify. Don't forget to give God all the honor and the glory and the worship and praise. Blow up social media. Huh? Respond. Share this video. And, and, and tell everybody how God healed you, delivered you, filled you with the Holy Ghost. Uh, how you received the revelation uh, of the mighty God in Christ Jesus. That Jesus Christ is the almighty God. And how you were baptized in Jesus' name. Uh, share it. Share it. Give God all the honor and the glory and the worship and praise in Jesus' name. Thank you very much. This is Charles Barnett. Be blessed and receive your miracle for Jesus Christ is supreme in authority. He sits on the throne of honor and glory and majesty and praise. In Revelation chapter 4, the apostle John sees him in heaven and there's no one else. One throne, one sits on the throne and his name is Jesus. He is the supreme God and Savior and Lord of all. Amen. And to Jesus be all the praise. God bless you. Uh, share this video and be blessed. You have a blessed weekend. Have a blessed week. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you.